Got some crows fighting over here. Love you guys. How you doing? Sorry, that was just like an abrupt start to my video. I saw the crows going. I was like, dude. I did a video earlier that got deleted that the crows are just going nuts. It's awesome. They're like flying around me. They're so cool. Me and crows, man. We're like that. But birds and me, you know, this whole trip has been pretty amazing. Lots of eagles. I saw, last time I was here, I saw eagles. I haven't seen any yet. Like bald eagles are really good. This video, hi, how you doing? My name is Bobby. This is my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'd like to introduce romantic comedies. Ba ba ba. Okay, this is just gonna be my little spiel on it, right? I love romantic comedies. I threw that out earlier, so I just thought I'd like to bring a couple of my favorite up that, and maybe just go into a little bit of you know what makes a romantic comedy so desirable to watch. Of course, anything that makes you laugh. And I'm telling you, women love to laugh. And I can't tell you how many times I've not only kept a girlfriend by being funny, but you know, got that first, you know, initial, hi, how you doing? In your birthday suit kind of thing, right? Just because I had them rolling, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, you can be charming as hell, you know. Thank God I'm not complete in Muppet, right? But, but the point is, romantic comedies. I mean, what's up, babe? He's so awesome. Sorry. You know, um, even Adam Sandler, like 50 First Dates, you know. Drew Barrymore, yeah, she's a dog. And I love that movie. I mean, it's kind of weird how she was like, you know, they had the trauma. It was like, how do you deal with that, right? It was a cute movie. Um, don't really buy him as so much of an attractive leading man so much, but he's really funny. He's really, I love that guy. I'm not really big on his latest movie with LeBron James, because I think that guy's a LeBron James piece of shit. But anyway, the point is, in, in Selma Height, how do you get that woman in Grown Ups, which I love? He needs to do another Grown Up movie, by the way. But Selma Height, he's a goddess. Oh my god. Anyway. And then we got Love Actually. I love that movie, British movie. Um, yeah, it's a really cute little vignettes of different people doing their stuff during Christmas and falling in love. And my favorite was the writer that found his old lady screwing his brother. And he goes to Portugal or whatever to, to write his book and falls in love with a beautiful Portuguese maid. Oh, she was hot. Anyway, that was my favorite part of, and love actually. The rest of it's coming. Anyway, and Ugly Truth, another really funny movie with Gerard Butler. Uh, I think that's his name, whatever usually does action flicks but he did a good job of trying to you know be a mixed American and I can't remember the lady's name at the moment she's really beautiful though uh, blonde lady and I love the fact that Ugly Truth was filmed in Sacramento which is kind of like my hometown I grew up there pretty much my whole teenage years and stuff anyway and then there's Overboard which is one of my absolute favorites you know Kurt Russell and uh, Goldie Hawn I mean come on now and it's even done on the Oregon coast. I mean, come on. I love that movie. That's just about saying, right? That's a classic. And then we got Princess Bride, which is another little more traditional fairy tale. You know, and you got some amazing characters in that movie. And I think I might have spoken about Princess Bride before. Yeah, it's just an amazing, you know, looking for that amazing kiss that blows them all away, right? That's what we're looking for. Anyways, and Greek Wedding, my big fat Greek wedding, it was cute. It was funny. I liked it. It was. I liked the the, the main character, the guy, um, Corbin, whatever his name is. He Benson, or he was from Northern Exposure, which was a great show. And I love. He had. A, he had a, his. He was my favorite character, just because that's what I would want to do: is just hang out, and, you know, do a radio show and just play beautiful music and maybe do poetry and talk shit. And that'd be kind of fun. But anyway. Then there's Proposal, which was I watched recently, with um, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. And who doesn't want to fall in love with Ryan Reynolds, right? He's a tar. Or Sandra Bullock. They're both amazing. And it's a really funny movie. It's really cute. Anyway, and Betty White. Oh, my God. I love her. She's awesome. I don't think she's dead. I don't so anyway, I love Betty White. She's amazing. Okay, the Proposal. Then there's 10 Things I Hate About You. I love that comedy, you know. Heath Ledger, I love him, and the, the girl was really cute too, and I can't think of her name, but I love the fact that that was based on Taming of the Shrew, right, that was, which was an amazing adaptation of Shakespeare. Another really interesting adaptation was done was the 
Uh, Much Ado About Nothing. It's kind of like a romantic comedy in a way. But really, they actually go into it. And Keanu Reeves is in that one, so check it out. The girls might like it. His shirt's off at some point. I don't know. Anyway, and where? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Someone Like You, which was that really cute one. I like that movie because she was almost like a reporter. She was doing little blogs because she got pissed off because she found out somebody she was fell in love with was screwing somebody else and turns out it's her boss and she was the other woman and so she's and she ends up becoming roommates with Hugh Jackman who's just a total dog and, and so she's disgusted with him but at the same time they end up falling in love. It's a cute movie. You know like anyway Ashley Judd yeah. So and one of my favorites is Ed TV and I've talked about Ed TV by itself in a past video and I just love how the the characters there's a lot of I mean Dennis Hopper's in it we have you know Jenna Elfman who I adore as Dharma and Dharma Greg and of course you know Matthew McConaughey all right all right all right and a lot of characters in there a lot of good actors and it's, I love the script um, God, get, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is in there she was funny. She's funny in that movie. She's the one that sets the whole thing up. And it's a really good movie. And the thing I loved about it is, is it was on television. It was basically before really, you know, reality TV showed up. And the fact that at the end of the movie, the people were so in love with the characters, with, with Jenna Elfman and Matthew McConaughey's characters getting together, that they were willing to let the show go and they cheered the fact that the, the, the show got unplugged, which is something normally people wouldn't want to cheer for is an ending to a show that they love. But they were so happy. Yeah, it's a great movie. you got to watch it if you haven't seen it. Anyways, that's my rant on um, romantic comedies. It's some of my favorites You know, to do watch. Watch them. Enjoy. Laugh. Cry. Do what you got to do, babe. Get it out. But yeah, anyway, laughter is the best medicine. And what better mix and laughter and love. I'm on it. Anyways, I'm going to let you go on that note. Have a wonderful day and happy hunting. Find your love, baby.